Hi students, um, we're talking about a new small piece of grammar and vocabulary here that we touched on, we talked about a little bit in class this last week. Um, we've talked about it a few different times in class, so it's a nice piece for us to review again, to repeat. Um, and I thought I'd make a short video to help us with this piece. Um, what we're thinking about is these adjectives and these nouns that can become verbs through adding a suffix of en at the end of the word. And usually we see it, we read it, we understand it, but maybe we don't take the time to stop and think about the idea that um, this can be a short way to increase vocabulary understanding in English. Um, for example, adjectives. We know that an adjective describes a noun. Um, on the side of your screen, you can see a, short, a small collection, a short list of some adjectives that do have this pattern of, you can add en as a suffix at the end of the adjective to change the adjective into a verb. For example, white, whiten. The chemical whitens your teeth. It, third person S, it whitens. Soft, soften. The T is gone in my pronunciation when I say soften. I don't say soften, I say soften. Um, this cream softens my skin. Third person, simple present, S. The cream softens my skin. The feeling, the purpose of this suffix en is to add the meaning of to make. So when I take the word dark and I add en, the meaning is to make dark. For example, I'm going to hang some curtains to darken the room. My baby can't sleep at night, so I darkened the room with some curtains. Um, fresh, en, freshen, to make fresh. I will use this spray to freshen the air. The spray freshens the air to make fresh. That en suffix, adding that meaning of to make. Um, short, adjective. Add the en becomes shorten. I can use this in continuous. I can use this in present, future, past. She is shortening with continuous. She is shortening the pants before she can wear them. As a past tense, this is going to take ed. She shortened the dress. You might see this in a passive. The dress was shortened by the tailor. The dress was shortened by the tailor. Um, the game. We had to shorten the game because of the storm. The game was shortened by the storm. Wide, another example here for wide, my adjective, adding this en to make the verb. Here we are using past continuous, the city was widening Main Avenue. Past tense, ed, they widened the river to avoid flooding. They widened the river to avoid flooding. These verbs will all take ed as a regular verb. For example, the en on shorten is not the same as the en on take, took, taken. As a third verb, regular verbs, short, shorten, shortened, shortened, widen, widened, widened. Regular verbs all take ed. 
Um, we also see this with less nouns, but a few. Um, I just have a group of five here for you to see that you might have seen, that you probably have seen before in the past. This word of fright, frighten, strength, strengthen, length, lengthen, height, heighten, and then our word of threat and threaten. Um, for example, the word strength as the noun, strengthen as the verb. The engineer strengthened the plan through thorough work. Be very careful, pay attention to these words because they can become very complicated. Um, for example, the word sweet is the adjective. We add en to make sweeten the verb. But then of course, a verb can also become a noun through adding er. So for example, sweetener is the thing, right? Teach, teacher, play, player, adding er to make the noun. The same here for the thing, sweetener. She used sweetener in her coffee. Um, remember that the third verb is also the adjective form. So the artificially sweetened T. Here the ED, the third verb, is doing the job of the adjective. Of course we can cover up this word and we can see sweet. I understand sweet tea. I understand the meaning. But I don't understand why do we see EN? Why do we see ED? The adjective of sweet becomes sweeten, the verb. The verb with sweeten, ed, third verb, again, is becoming adjective. Um, remember that this en is giving the feeling of to make sweet. The artificially sweetened tea. The tea was made sweet by artificial something. The artificially sweetened tea was not as delicious as the natural tea. Another example of a difficult piece, um, again, our word tight, the adjective, taking the en for the verb, tighten. Remember that the ing, sometimes this is continuous, I am tightening the bottle, but sometimes the ing is doing the job of adjective. For example, the tightening gap. She was stu suddenly stuck inside of the tightening gap. The gap was being made tight. He was uncomfortably wearing, verb ing, the tightened belt. ED here is doing the job of adjective. Again, we're thinking to use this group of verbs as a quick way to expand your vocabulary. Um, if you look in the information below the video, you'll see a link to a PDF on my Google Drive that has a longer list of these um, nouns and adjectives that can become verb through the addition of EN. As always, students, keep practicing at home, keep improving your English, and we'll see you later. Bye!